Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. We can figure out what it does later. Our priority is getting it built. Just give me some warning before you flip the switch. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. There's still a lot of people alive down there. I have to remember that. You will. It's the war we warned everyone about for years. And if I know you, Shepard, you'll make them proud. Hello again, Shepard. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although, I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to your doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes. I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, 
The VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. All right. Let's begin with the fact that Earth's most famous officer was born and raised in space. The commander was a strong biotic and a skilled technician, a deadly combination in a fight. While I didn't always agree with his decisions, I still respected them. And it was a privilege to know him. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. It's good to have a crew I can trust. Maybe we don't always say it so plainly, but... We're proud to be here, Shepard. And proud of you. Thanks. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring. Getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. We all do stupid things as kids. There's no denying that, but in a way, I was lucky. My mother scolded me, but she also bought me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. I'd question your character if you didn't. I suppose. I don't often talk about it. Hey, you'll stop grieving when you want to. Strangely, that's comforting. Thank you, Shepard. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. And it'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Those were all lies back there. They were not. My people weren't animals for your kind to experiment on. You wanted to know more about your history, Asari. Now you do. I have a name. It's Liara Tassoni, and I'd appreciate you using it from now on. No, you're not worth it. There's been enough death today. She's having a bad day. We all are. It will get worse. There is no time to coddle the feelings of a depressed Asari. We recover from this defeat, or we die. How did this happen, Shepard? My entire civilization. The Asari's history. The Protheans made it a lie all along. And I abandoned my people to hunt for the Catalyst. Liara. You had nothing to do with the attack on Thessia. Nothing to do with it? I told those people on Thessia we'd save them. How many Asari died because I demanded their help? Liara, I need you present. I need your help looking for the Catalyst. I can't forget the destruction of my home. I didn't say that. I want to know if you'll be ready for the next mission. Of course I am. Good. I wanted to make sure. I... I understand. Honestly. I'd welcome anything to occupy my mind right now, Shepard. How are the casualties? They haven't brought in many more wounded. 
That's something. How are you holding up, Liara? This is it, isn't it? Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment, if you want it. Sure. I've got a moment. Close your eyes. Let's do what needs to be done, Shepard. <laughs> 